hello guys shubham here back again in another video so today we are going to see how to install one of the most famous and anticipated rom of all time which is called as ecobus os of version 3 which is the latest build from the community and also let's have a sneak peek into it so without any further ado let's get into this video So before we start, let me tell you that there are some files and some prerequisites before you install this ROM. Moving towards the file folder, so these are the three files. From this we are not going to flash gapps as gapps is already there in the ROM itself but disable false encryption and firmware is a must. Moving further, last but not the least, we need our ROM file that is the Corbus OS latest build. So now let's boot to the TWRP recovery and let's get installation process so here we go here is our twrp recovery which is of version 3.6 make sure you use this recovery as all the android 12 and 12 l roms works fine on this recovery go to advanced wipe and wipe all the partitions except the internal storage take precautions not to wipe internal storage once you check mark all this swipe to wipe So here our all the partitions got wiped properly. Now you just have to go back and pile up all the files which I shown right now. The very first file that I have stored in some separate folder is the firmware. So you have to select the firmware file itself. After selecting firmware, you have to go back and navigate to the ROM zip which where you have installed. So after piling these two files, you have to swipe to confirm flash. Now let's wait until our ROMs get flash and then move to the further process. The ROM will take some time to flash so wait for it. So fast forwarding, as you can see our ROM has successfully flash. Last but the most important step is flashing the DFE. Make sure that you flash DFE as it is the most important step. So navigating to our file, select the file and flash to swipe. So here we go, our file is installed and now you are all set to boot into system. So going back, you have to click on reboot and reboot to the system itself. So here our phone gets booted and as you can see this is the latest covers OS boot animation on the screen itself. Which means that we have successfully installed our ROM. Wait until this ROM gets booted this will take about 5 to 6 minutes. So as you can see our ROM has been booted. So now let me set up these things and fast forward you to the ROM itself. So after setting up the completely, let's have some sneak peek or a first impression of this ROM. So scrolling down these other tiles and moving into the settings, this is how the interface looks like. This is the very first time I am flashing this ROM. So I am kind of new in this. So this is the panel which says about the information about Corvus OS. This is something new and quite good looking. So the interface is pretty much nice and user friendly. The left and right sides where they have kept device settings and cover settings separately is something good. Moving towards the system, tapping on Android 12 version and obviously you will see the Android 12 or 12.1 easter egg. Rest the ROM seems to be pretty much customizable as that's what the legacy Corvus OS holds. For me as of now at the first impression the ROM seems to be pretty much impressive. This is where you can see your Google account and this is the panel where you will see this welcome message and all the information about the Corvus OS. 
so let me tell in the comment section down below if you want the complete and a full review of this rom with my usage statistics and is this rom suitable for everyday use so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content upcoming until then peace out see you again in the next one